Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at the SPY, the IWM, the Qs, the DIA, and the IYT. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly timeframes. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to my website, sign up, it's free, or click down here in the bottom right-hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And traders, if you're looking for a broker, check out CobraTrading.com. Best in the business, been using these guys for years. Check them out, and don't forget to tell them, stock book he sent ya. All right, let's get into the daily chart of the spider. 62 million, 0.35 green, 0.14% green on the day. We did stall out up here. You know, it's still up a little bit, but uh, no great shakes. But boom, one, two, three days up like normal. Fills the gap, hits the high pivot. We talked about this, and we closed above. Let's see if we get some follow through to the 250, 255, 260 area. Or do we get, uh, get some consolidation? Maybe a bullish wedge comes back down. Maybe this goes into uh, this trend line here. As it consolidates, this trend line will start to come into play. The 20 MA will curl up too. As long as we're above the 20, the 50, and the 200, we're in a bullish stance. So bulls, you are in control right now. But we had light volume come uh, last uh, Friday. And we had the uh, holiday week as well. So let's see if we consolidate. We end up gapping down and coming back in. Big support area is the 50 and the 20. That's what we'll be watching for next. So big area right here, guys. It's got to crack through this 248.91 and go for the 250 and start ripping. Or we're looking for that consolidation sideways here. And then possibly some up moves uh, going into uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Possibly a light volume week. But let's see. We do have a little bit of news coming up. So watch for that with uh, North Korea and stuff like that. So. All right, so keep an eye on this. Let's go to the weekly since it was the weekly close. Weekly's okay. Still above the 20, the 50, and the 200. Pretty much the same story, guys. Just trending up. That's it. We're above, as long as we stay above this trend line, stay above the 20, we're okay. Every time we get close to that area, boom, it goes right back up. So watch for that. That's very important in this uh, trade as well. But SPY, 250, 260. Then we'll see. I mean, right now, it's going sideways. Not a bad uh, bullish pattern above the MAs. Strong stance. Watch for that. Volume was a little bit weak going into this little, you know, why can't we get more volume than when we sell? Isn't that weird, guys? That's really, really weird, guys. Every time it grinds up, the volume disappears and goes. And every time we sell off, the volume kicks up. I want to see a volume candle over the selling candles on a green day. That's what I'm looking for, guys. This is the weekly, a little bit different. It'll be a little bit light because uh, unless some volume comes in for the three-day week or four-day week, I should say. And then uh, we'll see what uh, Friday's close brings us. Then daily chart, or I should say the monthly chart. What can I say about the monthly, guys? I, I, I just can't get uh, interested in this rally up here. I'm, I'm sorry. This is an eight-and-a-half-year bull rally. I, I just can't. I can't get interested in it. I mean, if we go up another 5%, big deal. If we come down, we're going to come down 20, 30%. I wouldn't doubt we come to the 200 area, but we'll, but we'll see. It's getting a little bit crazy up in here, guys. And you, you could feel it starting to stall out. We might get one blast of euphoria, get everybody on board. Oh, my gosh, I'm missing the rally. And then maybe that's the time they sell it. I still think we'll get more selling in October, but uh, that's me, guys. But, again, eight-year bull run. I can't, I can't go long up here on anything. Sorry. I'll wait for the dip. I'll go long uh, equities when the time is right for me, at least. All right, let's go to the IWM. IWM, same thing. I mean, look at these rallies, guys, from 2009. Straight up. I mean, we had a nice little pullback here. Came back in. Nice little pullback there. Came in. I still think we're heading. When it's all said and done, we're going to be somewhere right in here, probably. You know, I mean, you, you could play, you know, you, I don't like that one too much, but it's just another area. I don't like it going through price there, but, you know, what can you do? And then you also have this one here, too. So somewhere down in this area will be really good, 100 bucks. I'd love that to go long. So I just can't, you know, after a nice move from uh, 93 to 140-ish area, 144.25, I can't get interested in these. Sorry. That's just the way I trade, guys. A little bit extended, too, on the monthly, so you got to watch for that. Not a bad bullish pattern, though, on the monthly. If these things play out, they will rocket ship 150, 160. But if these things fail, we're going to rocket ship to the downside, guys. And that's why this area right here, about 100, 105, 100 bucks if we overshoot, which I'm sure we will, if we end up going down. 
Uh, just like if we go up, we'll probably overshoot and go to 175. Who knows? <laughs> so keep an eye on that. Volume's okay uh, last month, a little bit better than the month before. But uh, we had a little bit uh, up and down action going on. And uh, we'll see what we get uh, in the new month. Let's go to the uh, let's go to the daily. Daily, what a move. We talked about gap fill. We talked about this high pivot. I think we get there. 142. If you are not short the IWM, here's your spot. 142 and then 145. If you really want to wait patiently here. But you got if you add here, you have to add up in here too. I do like a quarter, quarter position right here. Just in case it pulls back so you don't miss, you know. At least if it pulls back, you get something. If it goes up in your face a little bit, add a little bit more at 145. Stop area is probably going to be about 155. So make sure you have some from 150. You know, maybe get into a half position up here. Then if you get the pullback, great. Get in, get out, and be done with it. But uh, just keep an eye on this. So this is what it's going to shoot for. If you get above uh, the 142, then you go into 145, 150, so on and so forth. Nice retrace so far. Let's see what the setup is. We did get above the 50 MA as well, and we closed. That is bullish. So let's see if we stay above or do we come right back in. One day above is just not enough for me. I want to see some, another follow-through day with volume and close it up in this area here. So that's what we're looking for uh, uh, tomorrow into uh, Wednesday or so. And it looks like futures are down a little bit, but you know how that goes. We'll be 100 up at the uh, open and we'll be flying up again. So watch for a gap up. Or watch for even possibly maybe a gap down on this one. Who knows? So uh, other than that, pattern, guys. We chop around, stay above the 50, go sideways, then this will be possibly setting up for higher prices. If that pattern fails, like any other pattern, then we'll watch for the lower. You know, we got another, got another gap fill, gap fill, gap fill. You know, they're just putting a lot of gaps here. Gap windows, window, you know. So just add more support in here, guys, as this thing goes up. Nice retrace, though, into the areas that I watch for. And then, of course, double top, though, too. So watch for that. That's the daily IWM. Then the weekly. Weekly, same thing. Back into the 618, 750. Back into this big breakdown bar. This is an inside bar bearish pattern. And we close below that bar. So that's a little weak. But now... This is make or break it. If we could get above this area. If we could get above the 172 or 142 area and close above here, then we're shooting for the 145 and higher 150, okay? That was a nice reversal, too nice reversal with a follow through. Volume wasn't huge on this one, but he, he, hats off to him. Back above the MAs, strong stance. So next week will be big. Let's see if we get another day of follow through or another week of follow through. If we close up in here, then we're definitely going to try to go for the 145 number up in there. So watch for that, guys. Or do we click over and boom, right back down, get right to the 50 MA. So again, futures are down a little bit. Not that it, you know. It's always different in the open, so I, I actually just clicked it on just to see what the uh, what the deal was. All right, let's go into the queues. Queues, same thing, making new all-time highs. Uh, weekly chart busting above this uh, little trend line here. Did make a new intraday high. We closed right back below and uh, trying to make a new shot for the 146.59 area. Guys, you know, great, great bullish pattern above the MA, strong stance. This is the weekly chart, so weekly chart looks okay. Starting to break out. Let's see if that breakout follows through. If it follows through, then we can get some more momentum. Daily chart, though, we did close above it, and then we confirmed. Now we're going sideways. Let's see if we go sideways. I want to see click, 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 click. Maybe a nice uh, little bear or a bull wedge with the 20 MA and the 50 MA curling in the price, and then boom, sets it off to 150, 155, possibly higher if the markets continue to rally. If this thing comes in, gaps lower, comes right back in. Bull uh, bears, you want to look if it holds this support here. If it cracks through and hits this uh, bottom trend line around 140, watch for lower prices. I still think a lot of these charts are going to the 200 MA on the daily charts eventually, and I think sooner than later. So watch for these. And then uh, the monthly we talked about, I believe. Yeah, monthly stretched. Same same stuff, guys. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine months straight up, getting extended. This thing needs to be, a, you know, take a vacation for maybe a couple weeks and then maybe, you know, get some more upside. Or we go up through December. I'm still thinking October. November, we get a little bit of a pullback. I mean, it's in any time, guys. We we're, we got to get something here. This is just getting a little bit too uh, stretched on this monthly chart. You know, my opinion, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next uh, couple weeks. DIA. 
<clears throat> DIA, same thing. Monthly chart. Look at that stretch. You just can't stay that far. It's it's got to come back eventually, guys. I mean, this will curl up in the price, but you know, I think somewhere it'll meet right around 200 bucks, maybe. So 20 20 bucks. It's not a huge, you know, down move, but you know what? I'll take it. And then you know, we'll buy the dip, and boom, we'll take these uh, things to the upside next time. <laughs> I will be bullish, guys. Believe me. <clears throat> just bearish right now. So the uh, the DIA came right into this trend line here, almost filled. Did it fill the gap? I think it just missed it. Came right back in. We're back above the 50 MA, the 20 MA, and the 200 MA. So it's a strong bullish stance. We are at the gap window. Couldn't close above it. We do have a gap fill coming up. So let's see if it hangs out, tries to gap up above it. Remember, you still got 225, 230, 235, guys, if this thing takes up off to the upside. But good. Not a bad pattern here, guys. A little, little choppy in here with a bearish inside bar, but you're still above the MAs in a strong stance. So it's one of those things. That it could go up. If this thing fails, it's going to come right down to the 200 MA, this low pivot, then I think around the 200 buck area. And I'm telling you, that's where I'll be buying the buying dip or I'll be looking to buy the dip somewhere down in here if it comes down that far. If it goes up, it's going to go up without me. I'll look to add more up up here, um, 230, 225, wherever I need to do. I, I know the areas where uh, these are possibly uh, more resistant, so let's take it from uh, from a uh, technical point of view, and that's where you add. You know, make sure you don't have a huge position in here, but make sure you have something where if it does pull back to here, you can make uh, some pretty good coins. So, all right, let's go into the. Did we look at the weekly on this? Weekly, same thing, up, down, little inside bar pattern here. It needs to get above that all-time high to continue higher, in my opinion. Crack the 221.68, and then go to for the 225 area, 230, so on, so on and so forth. You're in a bullish stance here, above the 20, the 50, and the 200. That's pretty much been the story of the day. But you have a big trend line, big one down in here, guys. So that that's the area that, you know, if this thing does start pulling back, eventually I think we'll get to this area at one point in time. It's just a matter of when. And how much more we go up? I mean, look, look at this rally, guys. 2009. Huge channel. Look where we're at again. Look what it did here. It stayed at the top of the channel. Boom. Now what's it doing? Trying to stay at the top of the channel. We're due for another one of these, guys. So just be careful if you're long. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's look at the uh, monthly. Monthly, we did look at this one stretched, just like the others. Same stuff. Same stuff, different chart. Eventually, it will be coming back down in here. Mark my words. <clears throat> then the IYT, guys. All right, so the IYT is uh, the monthly chart, a little bit stretched, just like the other ones. But look, you go up, you go sideways, you have a nice uh, bullish pattern here. You know what? I'm going to take out these lines. This is going to take out these lines. I'm going to put the, uh, th this is important, this double top here. We're, we closed above that. This is a monthly basis. But I love the fact that, you know, we went up, we're going sideways. This is a pretty good bullish pattern here, but you have this down bar. We tried to get up, never closed above it, then we did it again. So you have a little inside bar up here, this big red one here. little inside bar that's slightly bearish, and when you're a little bit extended from the 20 and the 50, sometimes this bearish pattern will play out, so watch for that. All right, let's go. That's on the monthly, though. Bigger time frame takes a little more time. This is another one, guys, just like the IWM where it was lagging. Now it's trying to you know, get up to the highs again and lead. It just can't make it. We did fill the gap on uh, Friday, did pull back off the 50 MA. So we're going to be watching this area. This is a big one. This is a big one here, guys. If it gets above this one, that means it could break out a little bit, possibly to the 171, 172 area. Big area for this one, if you want to make double top, will be 173.44 or the gap fill there. Then you have double top right up in here. So watch for that. You got double bottom down there. And if you want, you do the Fibonacci from this low. We're going to go just short term to this high up in here from this guy. So we're to the 50% retrace. Yeah, that's why I like the 172.43 up in this area. So watch for that if we do make it up into there. So and again, though, guys, a little bit lag and we need to get above that uh, trend line for this thing to keep going. Uh, weekly chart. Same thing, but a little bit bearish down sideways in this lower channel. We did get it back above the 20, the 50, and the 200. So that is slightly uh, bullish at this point, but a little bit down in the lower range in a slightly bearish manner. Still lagging, like I said, so keep an eye on the IYT. And monthly chart, we already talked about this one, consolidating sideways. A little bit stretched. I think this thing can come back in. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. God bless. See you on the charts.